Hello YouTube, this is Jamal Thomas from Life and Cat Media here with a new series of videos that I'm calling Let's Ink. You know, over the years of me drawing and starting my own company, Life and Cat Media, I watched a lot of artists draw, you know, on video and help give advice. So I figured, you know, if I can give my two cents on maybe not how to draw because Hello YouTube, this is Jamal Thomas from Life and Cat Media here with a new series of videos I like to call Let's Ink. Uh, over the years of me studying how to draw and creating Life and Cat Media, I watch a lot of artists draw on their videos and such and they've helped me out. So I figured, hey, if I can create videos of me drawing or in this case, inking images, um, maybe I can help someone out in their inking stages or just drawing in general. Uh, now originally I had recorded myself uh, drawing this but uh, <laughs> it came out really really bad because I draw really light and over the course of me watching the video I found out that the inking stage for me anyway was the lot more entertaining part because it shows from going from preliminary sketch to watching the whole inking and how the whole image comes together in general. Um, pretty much from the beginning of the video to the end of the video where it becomes a uh, very depth in 2D drawing. Um, what you see on the screen here now because I'm recording in post is uh, me drawing a terror dog from Ghostbusters. It's for a print that I'm doing for an upcoming convention hope to see you there. Um, in terms of uh, materials that I'm doing or using in this case, um, pretty much standard materials that can be found at any kind of you know office section from a supply store or maybe an, if you live close to an art supply store, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, you know, things like tape to pretty much I tape, essentially what I do is I tape down uh, the image and I tape it to a bigger, harder sheet of paper so I can um, move around, you know, swirl the image around to get whatever lines I need to get or whatever angle I need to get a uh, particular line for. Uh, you know, obviously white paper. And um, if you want to get too technical on pens and such that I'm using, uh, again, they're at any kind of office supply store or section, um, starting with a regular old Sharpie. Hey, yeah, that's pretty much how I started, just a regular old Sharpie. And then uh, going from there to a brush pen, which helps get uh, various degrees of thickness of a particular line that you want. You can go from super thick to uh, really thin within within a stroke and also to you help get your strokes uh, to get that authentic feel. I also kind of waffle on two different types of uh, pens. I use a fine pen for uh, details and then there's an ultra fine pen which I believe the one I'm using is a Prismacolor 005 which I think is the thinnest one that they have. And uh, as you can see in the video here, I go back over with the Sharpie to thicken the line to help draw your eye in to the image. Uh, that's just a technique that I picked up along the way. And you'll, you know, once you start doing it, once you start doing more of it, just like any other craft, you know, you start picking up smaller stuff along the way. Um, and you know in terms of darkening an image or whatever and then you know also too as an artist sometimes you have to destroy your art to figure out what you know to figure out different techniques and things like that uh, pretty much and going on pretty much now on what's happening in the video um, pretty much taking that fine pen and uh, filling in details um, because it's a terror dog, he doesn't have anything mechanical or anything on him. Uh, try to create depth within um, the lines that I use and try to uh, 
bring some of the line, you know, connect some of the lines together. Uh, definitely within like the bottom of his neck, if you know, you know, trying to create a 3D image within a 2D image, you know, it seems hard at first, but again, once you start doing it, you keep doing it, keep doing it, um, it'll come easy. Uh, this one here, you know, after after I'm done with the inking stage, which I'm actually almost finished now, uh, I'll pretty much scan it into a computer, and then I'll do some slight cleanup if there's any kind of smudge marks or anything like that. I can nicely clean it up, and then begin uh, coloring and such. But uh, I'm actually wrapping up the video here. Um, just watch me add some last minute touches to it and then also too as an artist too you, you know at some point you just have to say you know it looks good and just back away from it because if i was to keep doing it then essentially it'd just be a big black blob of silhouette of a terror dog and uh that's not appealing but yeah we're i'm finishing up the last touches uh, of the video 